Hello. In this video we are going to talk a bit more about the undamped free vibration. Specifically the case where the damping factor is less than 1, meaning we have underdamped case. We have seen that the response for this case, the underdamped free vibration, is given by this big expression here. We can divide this expression in two terms. We have this exponential here, and we have this sum of cosine and sine uh, functions with uh, respective amplitudes. We have seen that this uh, response has two main characteristics. One is that it oscillates, and it oscillates with this frequency, omega d, which is the damped natural frequency given by this expression here. The other characteristic is that the amplitude of the response decays and it decays because of this negative exponent in the exponential function. So we can separate this uh, response, this expression for this response in these two main terms, the exponential and the, sine of, uh, the sum of sine and cosine with the respective amplitudes. And that is what I'm doing in this uh, script here. I'm saying that this first part of the response, or this first term of the response, is given by the exponential term. The second part of this response is given by the sum of the sines and cosines with the respective amplitudes. And that the total response is the multiplication of these two terms. Also, I'm plotting these three uh, different uh, terms, so the first and the second terms of the response, and then the full response, so we can see how they look separately and then together. So if I go ahead and run this script, uh, you see this figure, and here in blue is the sum of sines and cosines with uh, their respective amplitudes. So we see that this blue curve is an oscillating curve, so it's an harmonic, and the frequency of this harmonic is the damped natural frequency, omega d. And the amplitude is given by this combination here of the initial displacement and initial velocity and the uh, damping factor natural frequency and undamped natural frequency. The red curve is this uh, exponential function here, which is decaying according to the damping factor and the natural frequency. So you see that this is an exponential, and the exponent is increasing with time. So as time increases, this term uh, keeps uh, decreasing the function. So we start with this function uh, at around 1, in our case, and it keeps decreasing as time goes to large values, the red curve um, tends to 0. So we see that this response, the x, is given by the multiplication of these two terms, these two curves. So there's a curve that is an exponential that is decreasing, and there's another curve which is uh, an oscillating curve given by this frequency and this combination of amplitudes. And we see then that this uh, total response, which is here in black, will s have exactly this frequency of the blue curve and exactly this amplitude of the red curve. So the red curve is actually adjusting the amplitude of the blue curve uh, actually, it is decreasing this amplitude of the blue curve and giving us this damped uh, response here in black. So, with this script, you can uh, understand a bit more about this expression, which is given, uh, which gives the full response of the system. This expression here, by looking at each of these terms, the exponential and the sines and cosines. So you can understand that the frequency of the undamped 
uh, the, uh, the underdamped sorry, response uh, is given by these harmonics and the amplitude is given by this exponential curve.